Natus Level 22 starts out with practically nothing on the web page. So the first thing to do is just go ahead and take a look at the source code, see if they actually are trying to hide anything here. So I'll paste that URL into our Python script and we'll go ahead and download the page. Going to need to deentitize this all again. That's okay. Remove any break statements or anything else that we have in there that's getting in the way. But it looks like at the very start of the web page, there's some PHP code here. It starts with the new session and then determines if an array key exists, if there's a get parameter, Revelio, Revelio, I don't know. I would assume this is Revelio since they're trying to reveal the password. And the comment here is only admins can reveal the password. So this is interesting because it's testing if the session admin key exists and if it's set to one. Um, but only if it's not set to one, it'll do something. It will redirect you or it'll set a header location like an HTTP header to move you back to another page like the root directory or the, the, the root page of the website here. Um, so that's peculiar because it only does it if you are not admin. But the only PHP code in the page here is testing whether or not you're passing the, rev the Revelio tag in. They, the HTTP get variable. It doesn't worry about the session admin here. Um, so is there a way we can ignore being moved or following a redirect if we just supply this get parameter, but we don't know the admin session? or Because it doesn't look like there's any way to actually set this. There's no vulnerability to uh, kind of get in the way or inject this admin credential in our, in our session. So let's try just trying to run with this Revelio um, HTTP get variable. And it looks like it will just bring us to the page. Yeah, so no, no admin credentials there because it redirected us, right? Because we weren't session admin, so it kicked us back. Is there a way we can ignore that header? Absolutely. So you can totally do this in Burp if you wanted to, because Burp will see the original request, return the output to you, and then move you along with the redirect if you want it to. But since we're doing this in Python with requests, that module is going to follow the redirect. But by default, you can turn that off. Allow redirects, that's another keyword argument for a get request. You can just say false, and that will load only that page, the one that you requested. So now if I go check this out, hey, you're an admin. Even though we haven't modified that session admin variable, that PHP global in session, we are still able to get through it because of the code of the website. We're not being redirected. It's just telling us, no, I, browser, I don't want you to do that. Stay where you are. Credentials for the next level. We've got the password, and we can move on. So create a new script here. I'll call this natus23. Paste the password in, and we will keep moving. We don't need to just allow redirects anymore. But that's something good to know. Maybe you do want to use that allow redirects keyword argument more often in some of your Python scripts if you're doing some of this web hacking uh, CTF style stuff. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you're enjoying these. Uh, if you are, please do like the video. Uh, maybe leave me a comment. Let me know what you think, what else you'd like to see, how you solve this, and what I can do better. Um, if you're willing to subscribe, and if you really want to support me, please check me out on Patreon. A shout out to the people that already support me on Patreon, Spencer Clark. Thank you so much for your support. You are helping this channel grow and develop and helping me out for sure. Um, I do know a reward if you support me whatsoever through Patreon. I'll give you a shout out and include this stuff at the end of the video. Uh, and if it's $5 or more, I'll let you see some of my YouTube videos in advance before I get them uploaded or scheduled. So thanks for watching. See you soon.